just checking. Hey guys. So, um, I'm back. Um, I've got a couple of things to talk about. So let's just get these guys, these things out. I placed a order to Ulta and, um, let's see. I'm not sure when this is coming out, but in my time, this is a new product from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Clean Finish, oh, Clean Fresh Skin Milk with coconut milk and aloe extract, uh, dewy finish, nourishing foundation is what that is. So that's new. Um, I don't do a lot of NYX stuff, so I got the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, uh, what is it? What was I going to say? Oh, it's in the shade Fair, but a lot of times NYX products are too dark for me, so... We're gonna try this out. Oh, I saw something in that tree. Okay. I also have the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. Now I know this is not really new and a lot of people have already done this and uh, I won't talk about that, but I still wanna try it anyway, so we're gonna do that. And I have the, also the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. Um, I've heard, heard, no, I haven't heard anything, but I have already, um, do have a review on the stick foundation. So that's already done. Um, so these are a couple of other things from Juvia's Place. I also got, for me, it's kind of like my Christmas present to me, <clears throat> this is the BH Cosmetics Fairy Lights Palette. Um, and, uh, I'm going to still be doing a palette clean out, so, um, maybe not on camera if you guys think that's kind of boring, then I won't do it on camera and bore you guys with that, but, um, I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff, but I could not pass this up because I just thought it was so beautiful. I saw it in store and then I was like, well, let me just see how much it was. Cause like in store they had like a display and it was beautiful. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I wonder how much it is. There was no price for it. There was a bunch of color pop and they had all the, the names for that at the Ulta store and not names, but, um, prices for that, but they didn't have this one. So I looked it up and it was on sale for $12. So I just couldn't pass it up. Um, if you guys ever want to see me like do, um, uh, makeup look, how I would do it on my skin, my way, being a normal girl, a normal everyday girl, just put that in the comments. Like sometimes I feel like you guys won't care because I'm not a makeup artist and I don't have a lot of natural talent. I'm just a normal girl, but I still could probably put some colors together that would look okay. So if you guys are ever interested in, in just seeing that, even if it's not really a tutorial, uh, maybe just seeing it because I like just watching people do that. Um, so even if I'm not really watching it for the purpose of recreating or having a tutorial. I Sometimes I just like to watch it. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know and I will put that in the works as well. Isn't that beautiful though? All that glitter. Love it. Okay. So I, I, that was one of those uh, impulse purchases. I was like, well, if I just, if I see it when I get it and I see it and I just not, I'm not in love, then I can just always return it. But I was totally in love. So, all right, let's get down to it. What are we going to do today? I think today, since it's new, I'm going to go ahead and do the CoverGirl one. Um, this is in the shade Fair. CoverGirl is never fair enough for me, so um, we'll just see what happens with this. I'm going to try and back up and see if I can... I'm not all up in y'all's face. There. That's a little bit better. Okay. And yes, if you're wondering, I ha my hair is different today. <laughs> this is what I like to call the messy mom hair. Like, I'm 41, and you guys may be familiar with this style of hair, but I'm really trying to perfect it. The older I get, the more I want to perfect the I don't know how to do my hair look. So we're working really hard on that. I'm very dedicated to it, so we're getting that done. Um, also, um, I'm trying not to put it in, on a serious note, I'm trying not to put it in a ponytail as much because I've noticed that I've had a lot of breakage like underneath the backside of my hair. My hair is in really good condition, surprisingly. I know it doesn't look like it, but gray hair always looks dry and crusty because of the facets that are on the strands of hair <clears throat> and the lack of pigment and all. Um, but it's actually in really good condition. I just got it cut recently and she said it's in really good condition because I was like so afraid I'd been growing it out for a while and I was like I know it's probably so ratty and she's like no it actually is really in good condition. So anyway that being said that's why my hair is weird. So um, you're just gonna have to deal with that. All right so here we go. The other day someone was asking me about the foundation brush that I used um, in my Ulta uh, uh, foundation drop mixers video. It is this brush. I wrote it in the comments, but it is this brush, the expert face brush. And this is really good. It's really inexpensive, but it's really good quality. I've had this for years. I've never had a problem with it. It doesn't shed. It's lasted for years. It's still in extremely good condition. Um, I just am finding recently though, that I prefer a little bit larger and flat, um, kabuki style brush a little bit better just because it gets the job done a little bit faster since it's smaller. Or, since it's bigger. <laughs> All right, so I have both of those brushes today. I won't use them both. I'll probably just use this one, depending on the consistency of this. Okay, so now we've got all that out of the way. Let's just get right into it. Okay. Oh, it looks like a good shade. Oh, it looks like a really good shade. This might be the perfect shade for me. We'll see. 
We'll see. Okay. So it's the consistency. Pretty good consistency, I'd say. It's uh, looking a bit pretty. Yeah, it's creamy, not too thick. It is creamy, but it still feels very thin. That's which is what I like. So we'll go ahead and try it on this side. Oh, yeah. Good shade. Good shade. It seems pretty neutral, but not so neutral that it looks pink. Um, I have a yellow, excuse me, a yellow undertone in my skin. And you can really see it on my neck. And what I don't like is um, foundations to be too neutral. Because if they're too neutral, they make my face look pink and my neck look um, <clears throat> a different color. So they make my my neck look, ooh. They're make, they make my neck look... Uh, yellow but the whole I mean the whole idea is we don't want we want it all to look like it's the same shade this is supposed to have a dewy finish I do not see dewiness I see yeah it says dewy finish I would call this natural finish I'm gonna put a little bit more um, so far from my face to the mirror and viewfinder is a little bit difficult because I, I, it's hard for me to see. There's a lot of light reflecting from the snow that's on the ground. And um, I'm washing out my image. But in my mirror, it's looking good so far. Just from my face to the camera. Okay, and I've got some spots right here that are giving me a lot of trouble. Here, here, here. And one right there. I'm not going to try to cover that up too much, but... On my spots, it looks like it's covering a little bit. Not crazy full coverage. I don't know. That, let me see what the claims are. Oh, this is vegan formulated without talc, parabens, formaldehyde, phthalates, mineral oil, sulfates, or fragrance. Blurs imperfections even out skin tone. Sheer buildable coverage. Okay, so it is supposed to be sheer buildable coverage, instant and all day hydration. Okay, so this is supposed to be a good foundation. It's actually like honestly, if I'm being perfectly honest, which I always am with you guys, um... It's looking good so far, and I'm, I'm kind of on the verge of saying that I do like it, but um, again, i got to get my up-close look. Okay, let me give you guys an up-close look. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, looking good. I've got some spots that are crusty spots because while they're healing, all the dead skin is trying to exfoliate itself off, so they are a little bit crusty, and I've been blowing my nose a little bit, so I've got a little bit of a crusty nose here. I can see a little bit of crustiness right here, but on my active spots right here, um, they're not crusty. I mean, you can tell that I'm trying to cover them with makeup so they don't look perfect. Uh, and I've got one right here, but they're not looking crusty. I can't stand it when, like, it looks just so crusty. This is looking nice so far. This is looking very natural. Um, I'm on the verge of saying this looks like a good one. Um, now, I have combination skin, like severely combination. I am extremely dry here on, my, on the, the perfect circle of my cheek, and I'm pretty... I'm, I would say I'm normal to oily in the rest of the areas of my face. So I haven't been too oily recently, but I have been a little bit oily. So that's that. Um, I think I'll just do this, this half of my face for now. I wouldn't expect, I, I wouldn't recommend using this with a sponge because I think the sponge is going to soak up the product. So right now it's a little bit tacky still. So I've certainly powdered this. I always do powder. The thing is, the only thing that I'm seeing on the claims on this for right now is the first impression is it's not very gl glowy or dewy like they're saying. Um, I've tried a lot of foundations and this one is not the glowiest or even close to being the glowiest. Um, it's got a natural skin like finish, but good news is that's what I like. I don't like it to be too shiny, natural skin like finish. This is very nice so far. So um, it's giving okay coverage. Um, it did say it was buildable. I'm going to put a tiny bit more up around my eye just to see if it really is that built. Well, that was not a tiny bit at all. So we're going to remove, whoops, remove a little tiny bit of that. I love the shade. I'm very happy about the shade. I think the shade is really good, which for um, CoverGirl is sort of a tall order for me. They never have anything fair enough. Okay, so yes, I feel like that did build up nice. It feels kind of like when you're just touching it with your finger, um, it feels almost a little bit greasy. And I know that sounds terrible, but it's it just, yeah, it just does. It feels a little bit greasy. But it's not terrible at all, and it's not anything that would put me off. When it and honestly, when it doesn't feel it, greasy, sometimes I just know it's going to be like dry and crusty on my skin, and it's just looking pretty nice. 
So, okay, there we have it. Okay, so I will wear this for the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all my updated thoughts and comments and everything in the description or in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you can. And again, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing how I would use uh, this palette if you're interested in that, okay? All right, thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.